In this video, we're going to continue our study of exponents and apply it to scientific notation. So scientific notation is going to be a number, any, any rational number that we, we want, and it's written in decimal form. So say we have uh, 2.33 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. Now there's a couple components to this. One is the whole number out front or the, the rational number out front. And the criteria for this is this number must be less than 10. So it has to be a single digit number up to 9.999999. Okay, it's gonna have a multiplication sign, it's gonna have a power and then a, a 10 to a power and the powers can be positive, negative, and so on. Okay, so that's the base of what our standard scientific notation looks like. Now what we can do in the past, you probably have manipulated the scientific notation. So in this case, because the, the, uh, the power is positive, we're going to move the decimal to the right. So typically what's taught is you write the number out without the decimal place. And then however many powers we have, whatever the exponent is, that's how many, one, two, three, four, and then anything left is going to be filled in with a zero. And that would be the scientific notation in expanded form. And then you would practice taking numbers like this and bringing them into scientific notation form. Now what we're going to do, because we know some properties of exponents, we're going to multiply and divide them. So in this example here, we have 4 times 10 to the 4th times 2 times 10 to the 3rd. So here's what we end up doing. First, we want to multiply the whole numbers. So in this case, the whole numbers are 4 and 2. So that's going to give us 8. We're going to put the, the time symbol. Now we're going to use our exponent rules for the tens. Now notice they have the same base. And so our exponent rules say when we have the same base and we multiply, we're going to add the exponents. So when we multiply same bases, we add the exponents. So this would give us 8 times 10 to the seventh. Okay? Now here's a situation where the next problem, when we multiply the values, right, 4 times 2.9, for example, we're going to get a value um, greater than 10. So let me grab my calculator. Okay. And so when we multiply 4 times 2.9, we're going to get 11.6. Okay, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second. Now we use the exponent rule. So in this case, we're going to add them again. So we have 10 to the 14th and 10 to the negative second. So that's gonna give us 10 to the 12th. Now, a few minutes ago, I talked about the first number. It has to be less than 10. And in this case, it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the decimal to the left. When we do that, we're going to subtract the power. So let me just illustrate this point here with a smaller example. Say we had 11.6 times 10 to the second power, okay? Because it'll make the zeros, uh, it'll make it, the, my, my point here a little more clear. So if we expand this out, this would be, we would write 116 and then move the decimal two places to the right. Okay, so far so good. So now what happens is when we look at this number, how do we get this into, into our rules of scientific notation? Well, we need the decimal to go here, okay? So this becomes 1.16 times 10 to the what, okay? And this is gonna be 10 to the third power, oops. Okay, 10 to the third power. So what happens is if we move this one, two, three, we end up with our decimal there, okay? So what happens in this case is when we go left with the decimal, we're gonna add one to our power, okay? So when we look at this here, if we're gonna go left with the decimal, we're gonna have to add one more to our power. So this would be 1.16 times 10 to the 13th. 
right? And if you think about, okay, we had to move this twice, twice here. So if, the, if we have to go one further back, we have to add another decimal to it. So it's one more further uh, motion of the decimal point. All right, so that's to convert the whole number to less than, uh, sorry, that should be less than 10 here. And then we change the exponents based on, on that. So to change the exponents, if we move left, right, we're gonna add. If we have to move right, we're going to subtract. Okay, and so what an example would that would be often might come from a division problem, for example, where uh, say we had three times 10 squared over four times 10 to the fourth. Okay, well what is, and, and we'll talk about this in a second, three divided by four is gonna give us 0 0.75. And so to get that in a scientific notation, we're gonna have to move to the right. And when we move to the right, we're gonna subtract an exponent from our rules over here, okay? So that brings us to our division problem then. So when we do a division problem, we're gonna take our whole numbers and divide the whole numbers. So in this case, I have a nice easy example. Four divided by two is two. Now what we're gonna do here with the same bases, when we divide, we're gonna subtract the exponents. And we end up with just 10 to the first power. Now we could get negative powers, we can get decimal values here like this. So in this case, this would have been 0 0.75 times 10 to the negative two power. Now if I move to the right, okay, we move to the right, we're gonna subtract the power. So that's gonna, we're gonna subtract one, which is gonna make it 7.5 times 10 to the negative third power, okay? Now remember, if we have a negative decimal, if we want to expand our scientific notation with a uh, sorry, negative exponent, not a negative decimal, right? So 0 0.75 times 10 to the negative two is gonna move the decimal two places to the left, okay? So our answer here is 0 0.075, decimal point 0 0.075. So if we use this then, okay? So if I have 7.5 and I have to move it one, two, three, now that gives me the same value, but this time it's in scientific notation form, okay? So this right here is very, very important for you guys to keep handy when you guys are doing problems because that's gonna help us manipulate these. When our value uh, of that whole number, of that rational number out front is uh, greater than 10 or less than one, okay? So if, if the value is greater than 10, we have to move it. If it's less than one, we have to move it. 